What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today we are going to continue our VR project here for Godot and we're going to add in the ability to pick things up with our hands inside of the actual game. Now to do so I'm going to go straight to our XR origin um, scene here and under our left hand we and our right hand we're going to add in the ability to pick up by going control shift a to instantiate a new thing and we are going to look for the function pickup here to add to our actual hand now there's a bunch of different settings on the right we can actually look at to use but for now we're just going to leave them at default here now you can mess around with these settings to make it work for your game uh but that that's uh, that's up to you to decide on what you want to do so now on our right hand we're going to add the same so we're going to look for the function pickup which will allow us to pick things up with that hand. And that is all you need to actually add in the functionality. The next thing we need to do is go back to our main scene here and let's create a little table for our stuff to stand on. So I'm just gonna add in a mesh instance 3D, which will just move right in front of our player. Maybe again, that, that is not the front, that is the front. Um, and then we're going to set this as a box mesh as huge. Let's just say, uh, well, first let's bring it up to stand on it. Uh, the X can be one. That's fine. This could be 0 0.5. The height can be one should actually be fine. Uh, I hope so. We're going to leave it at one as well. It's quite tall, but I think that's, that should work. Um, also I'm just going to add in a random colored uh table here so the first oh no albedo that's what we want and i'm just going to set this to be more of a gray uh just so it's a different color from the rest of the world uh and then on this we obviously need a collision shape well not a collision shape sorry we need a static body um and we're going to add in a collision shape as well uh, and then we're going to set this collision shape to be a box uh, and that box will be 0 0.5 and that should be good. Go rename this to table just so we know. So the next thing we want to do is go to our scene and create a new inherited scene. And we want to find in our add-ons, the XR tool, we want to go to objects and select pickable and click open. Now the pickable, it is ba pickable object is basically the base object for a pickable object. So this will allow us to pick up um, an object, essentially. So what we want to do is under this pickable object, we're going to add in a mesh instance. Um, and this mesh instance, we can just do it as a box for now. We're going to make it a lot smaller, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So we've got a little cube here. Uh, let's give it a material. So we will give it a color of maybe... Yeah, let's go for a blue color. I think this is fine. Something like that. There you go. Just so it stands out. And then our collision shape, we actually need to set this to be a box collision as well. And also set it to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And, and that should actually be pretty good here. This should all be set to actually work. So now what I want to do is just save this and we're just going to name it. We're going to put this in our root directory for now. And we'll just name this our cube. Uh, save the cube. Go back to our main scene and drop in this cube in the actual scene here. Uh, let's actually make it sit on the... Well, today now I'm pretty sure it should uh, fall down. Okay, guys, so next thing I'm going to do is actually test out this and actually see it. So I'm just going to slap my VR, sell it up, and then we are going to enter and try and pick up this object. Okay, now you can see we're in the world. We can walk up to our cube and actually pick it up. Now, one issue is you might notice it's kind of just floating and it's not actually in your hand. You can kind of grab it from a distance. You can change how far you can grab it from. Um... You can see here, it, you can grab it from quite the distance away, uh, which isn't uh, very good. You, will, you kind of want it to be a lot closer. You want it to snap to your hands too. So let's actually do that. Inside of our pickable object, let's actually just open up the cube. And we want to add in 
we want to actually add in a grab point. So now you can see we have the grab point hand left and the grab point hand right. Now we want to select the left to start with and we just want to unhide this so we can actually see where the grab point will be. Now we're going to want to move this around if it'll let me. There we go. And let's just give it a nice little place to hold. So what we could do to add a different pose is go up to the hand pose on the right here, select this and go new hand pose settings. Now we want to select the closed pose and actually load in an animation. We're going to go to add-ons, XR, hands, and then we're going to go animations, left, and these are all the default poses we can actually have. And here you go. So I've selected the cup pose for the left hand, and we can move this around. This isn't a very good pose, to be fair for this. We're going to have to mess around with some different poses. Here we go. So this is more, so grip five is the one I'm using, and it's got more of an open palm sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the hand around it like this, lift it up, just move it so it looks like it's more in place here. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect for this right now. And there you go. I'm just going to leave this at that. It's not perfect, but you can kind of see the left hand pose is there. The next thing I want to do is add in the other grab point for the right hand. Uh, we can also turn off the left hand here and turn on the right hand so we can see it. We then want to set up our poses, so we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to set our clothes, load it, add-ons, XR, hands, poses, oh, not poses, sorry, um, animations, and we want to select the right hand, and I'm also going to select grip five. Now, you can see it hasn't updated in the scene there. Let's just switch these around, and there you go. That's now more updated, and there you go. That's it gripping again in this upper hand. This is the right side, so we can hide this as well, and there you go. So now, if we go back to our main scene and we hit play, we should be able to see this. Okay, so we should be able to grab this, and you can see it actually snaps to our hand. Now, you can snap it from a distance, but you can tweak that with the pickable settings. And there you go. You can see it's currently in my hands, and it holds it like we said it would. There you go. The, I've obviously done the right hand a lot better than I've done the left hand, because the left hand actually kind of clips through a little. But that's fine. You can mess around with it and tweak it how you want. You can even set up different hand poses yourself. So you can set up your own hand pose and custom ones by just creating animations for that hand. And there you go. That's how you can actually start picking up objects inside of Godot. It's super easy and dead simple to get started. Now, guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Now, if you want the source code for this video, you can actually get it on my Patreon to help support the channel. Um, if you head over to Patreon and choose a Beta Wolf subscription tier, you will be able to get access to previous tutorials code, including this one. The link will be down below in the description. And lastly, if you want to join our Discord server, the link is also down below. People can help you out with games. We can what we do a bunch of different fun things in the server as well. So feel free to jump into that. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.